Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're we'll reviewing an F-150 single cab. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Ford here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 16 around town and then 24 on the highway, with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Starting with the hood, really cool lines throughout and you can actually kind of see even though the white paint hides a little bit now even on the space package the headlights are darker so it gives it a sportier appearance got the new ford logo with white instead of silver chrome bumper here and this actually has fog lights as well and then you got recovery points so putting it all together for a work truck i think it actually looks pretty sharp around the side here a time wheel setup is 265 70 17 in the front and over in the rear silver for the coloration on the wheels pretty standard with this type of package XL there on the side. Get a little running board here for the single cab. Kind of cute, right? And then do have leaf springs in the back if it'll show up. There you go. And then here's the side profile on this single cab. Now taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the little flip out key there, and then you've got the Ford logo. And popping to the rear of the tailgate. It's not dampened, uh, but it's not super heavy. And then this one has an eight foot bed, so tons and tons of storage space in the back and then when you're all done lifting up the tailgate like i said pretty light got the new style ford logo got the new taillight design here uh, parking sensors at the bottom so putting it all together let me you guys think about this xl now popping inside a little bit more basic with material use again it's a work truck at the end of the day but there is tons of storage here uh, automatic for the windows and then you've got blind spot monitoring let's see what the payload is on this 2,263 pounds. That's impressive. Cloth seats. Got a nice design down the center. Uh, they are manually adjustable, kind of expected. And they got stuff like your light controls here for the parking brake, too. And ka-cha! Pretty fun, right? Now, taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see uh, more basic with the material use, but we do have practical controls for the center, cruise control, volume controls as well. Turn signal, windshield wiper stock. Got a good old fashioned column shifter with a manual mode. And then, yeah, even the single cab digital gauge cluster. Hope you like digital, because Ford is all in on digital. Got a bunch of different drive modes, most important one, tow haul mode, right? Like how it shows a four door truck when this is a two door. In reverse, we just have a regular backup camera, trajectory line turn with the steering wheel, pretty good resolution. And then, as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time is pretty quick, easy to use. And I guess this fully confirms for me that even the base of base trucks still has a huge screen. Um, above, there's auto stop start, it's for the camera to turn that on, hazard lights, stability control. We have our two speed transfer case set up, uh, also, just have a traditional four wheel high as well. Drive mode select, coin holder there. Radio controls with our single zone climate. Got some charging ports down there with some storage. And then we've got our bench seat here in the center. Uh, so some cup holders, and then you can lift this up. And there's some storage underneath the seat. So it's a nice thing. But yeah, it's a pretty cool configuration. Uh, the rear glass is fixed. Interesting sound. Anyway, so <laughs> we've got the manual mirror dimmer. Storage at the top of the glove box and then in the glove box as well. Now here's the window sticker for this F-150 uh, XL 103A. Uh, EcoBoost is 1600 bucks. Total MSRP 46,790. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood. Both mirrors do a blind spot ring. The rest of the rear, it's all bad. 
Let us set off. Uh, apparently there's also a 5.0 single cab coming in, so I'll do a review on that because if you don't know, Ford has a supercharger package you can add to F-150s with a 5.0. I can't remember how much it is. It's not super expensive compared to what some other companies will do. Uh, but anyways, you could get over 700 horsepower with a single cab F-150. So, interesting setup. But let's focus on this one, the EcoBoost. This is my first time reviewing the 24 with the 3.5. Because so far, every single 24 has either had the 2.7 turbo, or uh, that one truck had the 5.0 that was a crew cab with the, I believe, six foot four bed. So this is, yeah, pretty unique truck. Smooth. Smooth delivery. Man, it's crazy how much trash there is in that little canal. But yeah, some other stuff. Uh, these seats are pretty comfortable uh, with the cloth. Again, it's, I've said this in my other F-150 reviews, it's kind of a little bit rougher with the surface on the seat, which means it'd be easier to clean. This though is softer where you rest your arm. I think they did that on purpose because your arm and hand's gonna touch it, so they did that softer. I mean, that makes sense to me. But let's see what the. Ooh, got more traffic than expected. Um, some other stuff with this interior is it's very, very much so work truck, but easy to clean, it looks like, with most of the surfaces, which is you know, what you'd want out of a work truck. So I think that's a... So let's get our acceleration here. Yeah, EcoBoost is quick. Again, 400 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque. It's a solid, solid powertrain. Pretty comfortable with the suspension too. With this, you, you know, single cabs back in the day were just bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Right, you're like almost riding a horse, but it's a truck. Whereas now this is comfortable for a for a work truck. It's crazy how luxury, non-luxury stuff is nowadays. Am I right? Just kind of going through here to see. It doesn't really feel any smaller than like like how it drives. I feel like I'm driving a crew cab short bed. And it's probably about the same length. Single cab with an eight foot bed, it's probably about the same length as a crew cab short bed. So, to sum things up here with this truck. I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, this is a workhorse. That's why this truck has the specs that it has, right? You've got the EcoBoost with the bigger power outputs because it's the 3.5. It's got an eight foot bed, it's a single cab. That's pretty much what this truck is all about is work. So let me know you guys think about this. Let me know what you think about uh, the world we live in where a single cab, you know, again, now given this has a lot more equipment than what base model vehicles used to have back in the day, but this is base model for Ford now. Single cab base model pickup truck, four wheel drive, right? It's now gonna set you back almost fifty thousand dollars. That was horrible. It's weird reversing with a bigger bed. It it makes the turning radius a little bit, a little bit wacky. Just saving face because that was horrible. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this truck. But I think this is uh, obviously great for a work truck. But it's it's crazy the world we live in where this is now almost fifty thousand dollars. But I mean now you got digital, digital, so a little bit more luxury amenities than you used to have in a basic work truck.